Alright, this time I'm going to go caveman style again. And um, I'm going to use VirtualBox. So last time I explained about, was that, the virtual terminals and, and all that bullshit. We're going to go back there. And most people, they think, like, you know, it, it, when you drop to the console, all you see is text. Well, it's not actually true. You can actually use or you can actually view images and videos and PDFs and all that might not be as great but it's possible right so right now we're using uh, the GUI stuff and they refer to this on Linux as X sometimes they call it XORG or X server all means the same shit all right um, so we're gonna drop down to the console which is control alt F1 and for people that don't understand, you can actually go back to Control Alt F7 if you want the GUI again. If you actually have, you know, a GUI portion. Otherwise, if you're on a server or something, then all you see is this bullshit. Um, so let's log in. Let me zoom in first here. Put this down here. Zoom in. There we go. So we're gonna log in, all right? With your username. Type in your password. So we're in, and um, you know you can ls stuff out if you want. But we're gonna cd into our download folder, and I have some images and videos and PDFs here to test our stuff. But we're gonna use this program called FBI to view our image. I don't know why they call it FBI, but um, you know you can view your images if you want. So I have this image called. 11 here it's supposed to be like some anime stuff so if you do just FBI alone uh, you know like this it'll give you a freaking permission error to temporarily bypass this you can type in sudo in front right and you can you know look at the images and you know type in your password and all that now this image is too large for the console resolution uh, of this virtual box here but and yours might be a little different, right? But you see, you can still view it if you want, and it looks uh, just like normal. It's just that you using it from the console. And to get out of it, just push Q. Anyways, um, let's clear that permission deny thing because we don't want to type in sudo every time, you know. We don't want to type this every time. We will want to type this, but without the the headache of permission. So to uh, fix this. We're gonna add ourselves to the videos group, and to do that, we're gonna do sudo. I'm gonna use nano and slash etc slash group, right? And we're gonna do a control W, and we're gonna type in video. We're gonna search for that. So this is the line right here, and at the end of this line, all you gotta do is type in your username. So my username is this. And that's it. And then we're gonna control O, push enter to write it, control X to exit, and that's it. All right. Um the next thing we have to log out to make uh to apply the changes. So just type in exit and, and get out of here. And then log back in here. So now we're just going back to our folder that we were before. I'll last out the stuff. Now if you type in FBI and in the file, you don't have to use sudo or anything like that. Uh, so that's it. You can view uh, JPEGs. You can view, what's this one? This PNGs, right? No issues here. This is the exact resolution, so you can view it, no problems. And I do also have a GIF. It's supposed to be an animated GIF, but it doesn't do the animations uh, using FBI here. But I'll show you how it looks like. I have a, a picture of Vegeta. He's supposed to do a Gallic gun, but you see he's not doing any animations. Um, it's still viewable though. Um, another thing you can do, let's clear this. Um, we have a PDF, and when you install, what's it called? FBI. They actually have another package with it, which is called FBGS. And this one is for viewing PDF files. So right now we have this PDF files. And just push enter for that one. And there you go, you can view it here. Again, my resolution on here is not the greatest, 
but you can see that it gets to view it. As far as the pictures that they have in the PDF, it doesn't display as well, but you can still see a little bit of it and so on and so forth. If you want to go to the next page and all that, you go page up or page down. So page down goes to the next page so on and so forth. You can look at the man page if you want to learn the hotkeys for this. All right. Uh, you can use the arrow keys to view if you have a low resolution like I do also. Uh, Q to exit that. Now let's get on to videos. So we have um, a MKV video here. This is the Sintel Blender movie. So we use M player. Uh, I'm going to use dash VO for video output. And I'm going to use this thing called FB Dev, which I forgot what it means or whatever. But the way I remember it is it's basically Facebook developer, so FB Dev. That's how I remember that stupid thing. Although that's not what it stands for. Um, and yeah, and just, um, you know, input the, the video that you want to look at. So this is a Sintel video here. And then you just push enter, and it should play. Right, and you can use your arrow keys or whatever the keys that applies to M player. Right, the arrow back and forth. If you want to do that, they have sound and everything. Although I'm not recording sound right now. Uh, Q to exit that. You can do other stuff with that one too. So I think you can go full screen, but it doesn't really work on here. But if you want to go like full screen on yours, it's just dash uh, FS for full screen but this one doesn't work right now. Um, another thing you can do is um, you can scale it. Alright, it's just a uh, another flag called dash VF for video filters and you type in scale equals uh, scale equals and then the resolution that you want. So for example, I think mine's too low so I'm going to use um, 640 colon 480, right? And this is somewhat uh, a scaled it, and you know, to fit your your screen. And you see, there you go. You can watch the movie from here without X or any of that gooey crap, if you really wanted to. So this is the caveman style to do it. If uh, maybe you're running a server, or maybe um, you just want to try it out and they're using the frame buffer this that's what they call it so anyways those are the three things you can do from the console without any GUI uh, viewing your images your um, what is that, PDFs and movies uh, so that's it for this one really and as far as the was it the file that I was showing you guys what was it here the Vegeta one is supposed to do this animation. Let me open it here. Right, it's supposed to do a garlic gun, but or is it just a blast here? Basically, a blast. I mean, anyways, um, FBI is in your repositories. M players in your repositories. Um, that's it.